Hello everyone, it's January 21st, 2020, it's Tuesday, it's Harp Tuesday, and in this edition of Harp Tuesday, I'm actually just going to sit down and try to start work on a new composition. So one of the things I'm going to be doing this year is, is writing more, and in the past it's been a great for me, a little bit extra sort of push in terms of, for example, my Fantasy on Green Sleeves or my arrangement of Skyboat Song, just to have that not necessarily a deadline but that awareness and that sort of extra push hanging over me as it were to work on something through harp tuesday so what i'm going to do is i say that i'm just going to sit down and, and start work in real time on a new composition i don't have anything it's nothing set in stone but i have in mind obviously i'm going to try to do it on labor harp and i have in mind uh, maybe something trying to capture the ocean. I've been down to the ocean quite a bit recently, taking photos, uh, and perhaps a, a bit of an etude-like piece where there's a pattern or uh, some sort of pattern that maybe repeats a fair amount. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And so I think I'm going to start in E flat. It's a nice key on the pedal uh, on the lever harp, and. You just heard so just before i turn the camera on i kind of like this little those five notes so that's going to be my starting point i've got a piece of manuscript paper i've got my pencil so i'm going to jot that down very quickly and again when i'm doing something like this i i, I jot everything down pretty messily and then i hope try to transfer that to finale, for example, before I forget what I what I meant sometimes as I, as I write things down. So, so there's a nice little pattern, right? Oh, five notes, which is kind of cool because it's not necessarily what we always encounter. And a little left-right pattern. So I'm just going to jot that down very quickly. All right, so this little... And then I'm going to experiment with a little bit just to think about, again, by this idea of a repetitive pattern, but... So that's two of the first. So here I'm going to do, uh, I'll write down those left hand notes and then kind of just do uh, sideways, um, a ditto mark, right? Uh, can't think of the word for it, but anyway, uh, just to show that the right hand's doing the same thing. And then I move down to the C in the left hand. So that changed, and again, the right hand stayed the same. Then the left hand moves back up, and in this case, I changed the right hand middle note to a C. And then I moved down to just, uh, I believe that was a fifth, right? I guess the nice thing is here, I'm actually recording it. So if I, because sometimes that happens, right? When you're writing, maybe you get something really good, and by the time you go down to, or something you, you think is really good, by the time you go down to write it down, you've forgotten. And of course, obviously, recording it means you can always listen back. Um, yeah, so it was this fifth down here, bit of an A flat major sound. So we'll get that in the left hand. Right, e. And then the right hand was just doing a, a bit of a Scale, right? Just three notes in a row. So this little. And now it obviously 
obviously needs to move somewhere. myself right I'll always if I got a little bit that I like or that I think I'm going to keep going back to that and then coming to the end of that and and trying some various options and again just seeing how it not just in isolation but how some of the options I'm playing around with match up with what's going to come before that oh, sorry. Sometimes right, you can kind of run into, or at least I find maybe I, so right now I'm, I'm kind of sold on this, right? Kind of changing into a B flat there, but then I'm not finding anything I'm absolutely in love with in the right hand, but sometimes that can be a trap. Like maybe you get so set on this and maybe there's just nothing that's gonna work quite the way you want it to and actually you have to back up and instead of trying to find stuff from that point. Again, so for me, I'm, all, generally kind of composing, building something so that I, I get something I'm happy with and I build onto that and build on to that and build onto that and always kind of building from that last point. Um, and sometimes, of course, you get maybe ways along and you realize, okay, no, actually this whole chunk you're going to throw out because it just doesn't doesn't actually end up going where you want it to. Um, Some, obviously we could do any sort of accidentals ahead of time uh, let's think maybe what we want here no we can't have that well, anyway, I was, uh, anyway, uh...
Let's just go all the way up here. So we actually get that seventh. Because we couldn't necessarily go F, F, A, right? If we take all, try to take all these in the right hand. Um, and then, and then, uh, what was it? Back to a bit of an E flat there and two notes in the left hand. And then I kind of like the idea of doing the same thing we just did, but reversing the left hand. So instead of, it's going to be. And then ch changing something there. I'm just going to try that again to see how that all sounds. Sorry. So, so again, I'm just, I'm just not really locked into that transition. I think there's some, again, I like the idea of reversing then doing instead of to do. I'm just not sure about this harmonic progression here. So. Bear 
with me. Sorry about this. Um... So I kind of liked. So instead of going for that B flat, we're 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 more into just right into E flat. Um. that down instead so then yeah, yeah just put parentheses we're not gonna do that um so we're gonna do that was the b it was a fourth here and e and then and we're dropping the just the third finger down to the b um yeah and then to do to do some what was it was it uh Group of four, then instead of five. Um, there's so there's our B flat. Uh, um, bring and bring and then times uh, times four, and so we get it. Second time through, so uh, I'm gonna like a little arrow back, reverse, reverse, uh, left hand and right hand, and we're gonna throw that C in there. We're gonna do the C minor uh, without the D. We're gonna do the, and then where we had C the other time, we'll do the D. Just just to do a little bit, throw things. Uh, change things up a little bit on that repeat so it'll be from the beginning that just as written. Um, I'll make sure that I know that that's an E and not a D. Mm. So we've, let's 
obviously we've had so I want here I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of hearing something up higher I want a bit of a crunch so I don't want it to be just too just say just too major sounding or anything um, and then I'm thinking about a pattern we could maybe switch to um, Let's see, let's see, let's see. forget it and then I'll check to see whether I like that transition so that is we're doing a ninth right uh, uh, shoot what is it uh, okay three to one, and going up what was I I think I think that's right I think I'm switching Oh no. Yeah, so I, I, I have this and then this. Um, and then, so that's, that's A to G, right? Yep. And then this is for that, for that C in there. And so two X and then we go down one right to the G with the left hand and I think that was just right that was um yeah both hands just uh, moving down down one on that so the right hand is now playing a scale and E and then on F and then and then uh, yeah we'll write this out so all right that's it right hand repeats and then left hand F to E and the right hands are doing what is this G A B G A B um okay so then I, I want to hear how that sounds with with with, with the um, with the whole thing sure whether it fits with our transition so
Anyway, I'll keep it. I'll keep it in again. This may change, right? This may change, but then we're gonna do. That was uh. So now we're focusing a little bit more on C minor here. Um, so left hand then right is is playing this nice minor third, and right hand is a little more squashed than we originally start right because we're down a, a one string from start and the right hand left hand so this is let's see we have yeah okay we'll find the c minor in the right hand and left hand's got a little bit of a crunch it's got the d so basically right it's it's just uh like a c minor nine um or however we want to Think about it. Uh, but what did I say? So this is left hand, the D and the E, and the right hand has found uh, just a second inversion C. So yeah, I think I think two of those, right? Five four the five four in terms of notes, um, so that's then bouncing around, right? It's kind of F minor. We get this F in the left hand, and we have just a root F minor. Uh, hop down to that C, and then we're gonna throw in the G, then in the right hand. Uh, on this as well, right? So that we have. So I think we want to settle somewhere, kind of a sense of settling. So that's what you have. I guess we can go back here. But I want to I I distort it a little bit. Um. So first time we have... And first even though it comes next uh, because I just don't want to forget it has to be uh, 
I forgot it already. Um, I think that was it. Um, it was B. I might listen back on this. And that's the G, and we're down to the B right hand. But I want to get the bit before that, right? Which was. Uh, I'm getting tired here. Um, oh, yeah. So now I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So that's left hand still. Still those. Um, But we're just kind of pulling the right hand apart a little bit. So we have the A there this time, as well as the D, if we're still thinking C minor. And then we throw in uh, this uh, seventh. We've got the G. I guess, uh, I guess it's now we've got the F, as well as, of course, the G and the C, which are part of our... Um, this is 2X. X. Part of our, 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 our chord. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I like that B coming out of there. I, I, that, that's nice. I like that. Well, I, I, I think that's long enough for this episode. Um, yikes, half an hour already. So certainly, if nothing else, it accomplished for me. I was feeling tired this evening, but it got me here sitting in front of a piece of paper, writing down some music. And again, I've, I've talked about this before, but the most important thing is in terms of creating something is actually just to commit that time to the process and whether you create anything good or not, if you consistently do that, something is going to happen that will be good. Um, whereas if you just try to wait for inspiration to strike, uh, it's a lot it's a lot sketchier in terms of actually getting anything accomplished. So I hope, hope you've enjoyed that. And uh, I'll keep you posted. We'll see what happens with this. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to turn the camera off. I might play around a little bit more and I'll try to enter this into finale so that I make sure I don't forget uh, what's going on. So until next time, I'll see you in two weeks' time. Bye for now, and cheers.